WKNJ 90.3 FM, livestream.com, Ear to the Streets, Kane University, Union, New Jersey. We have very special guests in the house. He hails from out of Brick City in Eastwick, Jersey, all day. He is the tour DJ for Cannabis. Hello. Hypnotic Records own DJ Hello. Porter Rock. <laughs> What's going on, brother? What's up, brother? Can't complain. Life is treating us good, you know? I know it's treating us good, but you got like two papers in front of you. I got some some some, some ideas, some questions I want to ask, my man. Well, the air of the streets listen, my brother. I want to say thank you for having you for coming back up here. First things first, and I want to, my next my main question I want to ask you now. Our air of the streets listeners want to know your music. We know your music very well because we spin it here all the time. But I want to give them the opportunity to meet the person behind the music. That's so me. first of all, I want to I want you to tell us something about yourself that we don't know outside of the music. What can you tell us about yourself? That you're in, that, that you like to do. What are you into? Outside what of hip hop. What do you like to do outside of hip hop? Like my hobbies. Yeah. What would your hobbies be? I know one hobby. And we can't real, say it. it's real geeky stuff though. Like I'm like a, I'm like a uh, I'm like a tech freak. Like I like learning like computer programming and going in depth with knowledge and building myself around certain circumferences and meditation and. It's a lot of weird stuff, man. Like, I got a lot of free time on my hand. Mm -hmm. Like, so, you indulge into Google. Like, you think of something, like you smoke an L, you think of something, and then you just, you Google, and then that leads into something else, and then you go deeper and deeper, and then next thing you know, you're in China. <laughs> All right, nothing wrong with that, brother. You got it. You got it. Hey, knowledge is power. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, what are some new projects you got working on? I know you got the pro you had a few projects in the works and a few other stuff. Okay, the old stuff that was in the works you probably heard about and all that other stuff. That's politics behind the business type stuff like that. So, but it's coming out. It's just not coming out now. But right now, I'm gonna, I'm working on a uh, I'm gonna do a mini EP. It's uh it's an instrumental album, and uh, but. It's only going to be six beats, but I'm going to add two extra beats to it, which will be vocal tracks to it. That uh, uh, I just got off the phone with Curious. Curious and, George, yeah. low lifer. Exactly, and he already has the beat, and he's going to do the verse this week. I'm going to go up. I'm going uptown to go pick that up this weekend from him, and then I, it might be Craig G might be on the other one, or just somebody that's just real dope, and then. Maybe a, an unknown person, like whoever could boggle my brain within them weeks that I'm working on. Maybe the guy sitting in the background here. What up, J-Biz? Yo, what up, peoples? What he up, might get the spot, but it's just whoever boggles my brain at the time that I'm putting it together is going to get the spot, and if it sounds real dope. And I know you you, you work from the independent artist to the com to the mainstream artist, so I know you've worked with artists such as Black Rob to right. Elder Sensei, Cannabis, and I know you actually did some work with Khalil Cash. Oh, yeah, that's the home. Yeah. I heard he got a new album coming out. Yeah, it, and they don't I, have me on a new album, but that's okay. But I know it's just because I ain't send him no beats. It's my fault. It's not like it's his fault. <laughs> no, that's all good. It's just he told me to, too. He did, he did. And you know what? My email game sucks. Mm -hmm. If I got, like, a little white girl to send him for me or something, like, or just a little chick, just, hey, I sent you an email. <laughs> like, it'll work out beautifully. <laughs> But I don't have that. <laughs> so what's your vision, though, ultimately as a producer in this game? You've been at this music thing for a long time. I know you said this is what pays your bills. This is what helps feed your little five-year-old son. Three-year-old son, I'm sorry. Damn, you had in years, and I ain't that old. <laughs> so, what's your vision as a, so what's your vision as a producer? Just to make good music. Mm. Like, it's music with feeling. You know, like, I'm, uh, not even me, like, Absurd would tell you. He makes tracks. Mm. And I know he don't make tracks that he don't feel. Like, you got to feel it in yourself. Like, once you make that groove, it isn't even, like, your body goes instantaneously to that groove. And once you know it's there, like, you can't deny it. So it's just good music. It's what you feel, and it's what you feel that people would feel the same way you feel. So when you play it loudly, let's say we're in a club or something, and you see the same people moving the same way that you just did when you was making the joint, that's worth more than a million dollars. Alright. So I mean, aside from self fulfillment and musicianship, what are the advantages of making some of making your beats of making some sample free beats? Do you do do you only use sample do you sample free or how do you Nah, I'm a big advocate of the licensing game. So uh, and honestly you know, you, you know what I'm saying? So 
I do, but like, I sample is my heart. I Damn. dig for records, I'm a digger. I go to record conventions, I'm a geek like that. And I go to the hotels and have record shows, mm -hmm. and I buy my records. But when it comes to a check, I'm going to get that check. And I'm going to and I'm gonna make a joint that sounds like a sample, though, but just it's not a sample. Mm -hmm. I use reason that day and go in. Right. And my thing, and I don't, and I honestly think that that's a good one when, because that's how hip hop started. We started on crate digging and using samples. So I'm thinking, so I'm all, I'm all about the the crate diggers and the samples. Oh yeah, because that's the only real way how to make joints that people feel. Because of course, you know, like the synthesized beats and all that stuff, you know, it's cool. Like, and it has its lane and it's dope. But when everybody has the same keyboard and the same program and reason with the same refills, like everything starts sounding the same. But at least with samples, it's like if I could dig for some 60s progressive rock and Absurd could go for some soulful 60s jazz and we'll make two of the dopest records in the world. But if two different styles and it won't end. And it's like if we could use the same machine, mm -hmm. we both could be on the MPC and it still sound completely mm -hmm. different, brother. Mm -hmm. Not like everybody using a motif or a try in no reason. True. Well, you know can you, also, can you elaborate on giving away free beats as to making the career moves? All right, free beats? Well, you have to do it. But I'm not saying free beats to Joe Schmo to live around the corner and I want to rhyme all day. Mm. I'm talking about, like, if you're around the circuit and you, and if you get to that circle where you're networking every day, everybody runs into the circle where everybody knows each other. You know this. Mm. You know this. Everybody goes to the same shows to the same things, and everybody just builds with each other. Once you get in that circle, it's easier. Right. But you still get out the free joints because now it's your boys. And now it's like, yo, let's just rock together. Let's do this record. And it's like, yo, we've been chilling so long. Yeah, let's do this record. And you guys do the record. So you're going to give it to him for free. But when it comes around, he's doing his album. He's going to come to him and be like, yo, let me get this joint. I got a budget now and let me pay you some money for your record. Rather than Tommy from around the block. That's gonna be our son. You know, my 16s is hot. I want to rhyme, son. My freestyles is crazy. You know, I battle, yo, you know I battle Javier? Oh, son, got him. Javier didn't even have nothing, B. Like, them, charge them as much as you can. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get all your money out of them. You know what I'm saying? Get everything you can. If they hustle, get five stacks. Mm -hmm. If they don't hustle, and, they, and if they pretend hustle, get $100, $200. Mm -hmm. But get what you can. And run. Don't show up when you record. Mm -hmm. so, what are some of the, so what are some mistakes that you, that you see up-and-coming producers making in this game? Staying home and not playing nobody they beats. Because I know a lot because... You can't be afraid to play people you beat. Because people are going to tell you they suck. But it's cool. Because the track you feel the most is going to be the track that everybody says sucks. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, yo, I chopped up nine samples and put all these drums in here. And yo, I put this synth behind here, put this pad over here. And next thing you know, everybody you play it for goes, nah, I ain't feeling that one. But you know track three? Oh, that's my joint. <laughs> and you was like, no, track seven, son. <laughs> track seven is the jam. And they'd be like, yeah, track three and four was my joy. So you'd be like, things took me five minutes to make. Nah, I don't even like that beat. Why do you even like that beat? I sit there with L, like me and L, the sensei, we sit there arguing about beats. I tell him, like, why is he even picking what he's picking? I think they're trash, but he loves them. So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's the beats I don't like the most, they like the most. And how do you, and also now, with all of that being said, how do you feel about the internet and hip-hop now in the digital age? Because when I say that... It's good to make money. Right, but I mean, but how do you feel that, do you think it's been harder for you, has been, or has that opened more doors for you? It lets more people hear your music. Mm -hmm. If you're like me, like, if a million people hear my record and I don't make a cent, I'm content. Right. Right, you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm happy, because at least a million people heard my record. If I get to make money, then it's a better avenue for you to make money, because now more people can hear it at one time. True. And a downfall, though, it's like, it's more bootlegging, and there's more, let me just download it first off of this site, this dude mm -hmm. I know on Twitter had the link, and we just could download it. And then it's whack, but at least you get in the music. 
Like, yeah. for the people that download it illegally, we're still making enough money for the people that do download it illegally that support and buy records. Because I still buy everybody's record that comes out on Same iTunes. Same here. Like, I buy my record. I, if if I, I, I go to the record store, like, I'll be, be, be going hip-hop. on underground.hiphop.com yeah. and be buying my CDs. Exactly. You know? I stay on iTunes. Well, okay, here. Yeah. Download that one this week. Every Tuesday, um, what's new today? Let's download. Like, we support it, but it's just like, the ones that don't, they'll end up coming to a show. So they're going to give you some money anyway. Yeah. They'll end up coming to the show when you're in town. Even though they didn't pay the $10, $14 for the album, they paid $30 for the ticket. Oh. So I'm now they're at the show. Yeah. I wanna so s- it's like, a, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's uneven, but it's cool. I want to say, Porter Rock, thank you for coming through. And also, one last question I want to say is, did you ever used to make any mixtapes back in there, like the way Doo-Wop included for and back? Because I know growing up in the... I did, but if you could find one, i give you a million dollars. All right. Hey, it's not online. It's not like Dubois classics. It's in a twenty touch fifty MCs. But yo, hold up, wait. We have a record. Yep, we got a record. We gonna spin. If you guys are cool and you guys got tape decks, put the tape in. Put the little thing on top of the tape so you can record over the album that you ain't like, and put the tape over it. And then when you hear this record, hit record on your tape decks, and play it, and then play for all your friends, and then let them dub it on high speed dub. And then let them dub it, and then the whole world can hear the record. <laughs> Poor Rock, I want to say thank you for coming through and showing love. Air the streets every Monday night, and I'm here in the midnight, WKNJ 90.3 FM. And I'll be on the Ustream chat chat room live. You know, it'd be what it be, Poor Rock. East so Wick, Brick City. Cut me off, right? I, I, I kept on trying to talk. He cut me off. Here we go. Like a guy on the radio, he just cut me off. Look, he's still trying to talk. What's, what's <laughs> what you want to say? That's it. I want to say thank you for coming through, brother. <laughs>